Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Chirag Pandit and in this video I am going to cover up briefly a simple record and playback scenario of a data driven test of a user registration. This is a follow up video of my earlier video tutorial. If you have not watched the earlier video tutorial I suggest you to go through that once and come back to in this video. So what I'll do here in this tutorial is uh, I'll register one of these users uh, in OpenCart. Uh, what OpenCart is, uh, it is an online web application uh, which I have locally hosted in my PHP server uh, with MySQL. Uh, so you don't need to cover up that part. Uh, so you can at least go to demo.opencart.com and you, once that web application launches in, you click on my accounts and you click on register and this will take you to the register account page and you fill in all these details first name last name email and once you fill in all these details you click on the privacy policy and check that uh, checkbox and click on continue uh, once you continue and if the entire user data is correct and validated uh, you will be given a success page uh, and it will show your account has been created so our test here is to val validate whether this message comes in once we have entered in all the details there and to just briefly summarize into a manual test case uh, this is how it would look like uh, verify a user is getting registered uh, once we have entered in all the uh, details so step number one log launch your open card web URL uh, select your register user enter the details about the user check your I agree checkbox and click on confirm and click log out and close all the browsers so let's jump right back in open script so what I'll do here is I'll quickly create file new uh, since it is it is a web page, so I'll click on web. I'll select next since I'll use the same repository. Uh, this would be my TC02 uh, open card user registration. And you click on finish. Same as again, you will get initialize run and finish and this time I'll, I'll try to record it in Firefox browser uh, although I don't have any uh, glitches in IE but still I'll try to open up Firefox and just to give you a demo on that browser as well uh, so in case uh, how if you don't know how to record it in Firefox you need to have a specific version of Firefox which should be installed in your system um, the version numbers are mentioned in uh, Oracle OpenScript's website so the version which I am having as of now is 31.0 ESR if in order to change your browser type you need to click on view OpenScript preferences and OpenScript general and browsers in this you change your recording browser to Firefox and you play it back on Firefox you click on apply and OK uh, one more thing I'll just check whether your Firefox plugin is enabled uh, so you go to add-ons and find your Oracle OpenScript extension which is here OpenScript Web DOM should be enabled and pretty much that's it so let's see whether it gets enabled in Firefox so hit record button it should launch one of these windows and open script recording so what I'll do is demo.opencart.com our browser has been launched in I'll click on my accounts register I'll enter in the details
so yeah our account has been created so i'll close the browser and that marks the completion of our test case uh, one quick note which i want to tell you guys in open script uh, your html5 objects won't get recognized so you need to just go to record uh, web functional object identification in case your html5 objects does not gets recognized there are a few html5 input types uh, input type number input type date so you need to restore their defaults and click on apply in case your html5 input types are there in your application so we have created one of these quick recordings let's see whether it gets played back It launched open card click on register feed in your details All right. So I know where should I make a change. So I think this is the change which I need to make somewhere in here. So what I'll do here is I'll try to just bring in some randomness in our email says so that every time it, it changes that user email and generates a new user email. So what I have done here is, so I have created math.random into 10,000, which will be initialized into int random number variable, which every time at time of execution, it will generate a new number. Uh, and I'll create one string argument that is our email id followed by our any random number that will create a unique number for us at whatever the website is so if i execute it right away it should get passed If you look at the email here, it is some random number followed by our email ID. So every time our email would be unique and thus our email will be registered uh, and it won't throw any errors at time of user registration. So yeah, pretty much this is the way to go. Yes, our account has been created. So what we'll do here is uh, we'll close the browser and we'll return back to our test. So now, at this point of time, I just want to make a note of one of these checkpoints. Once we've re registered, I want to check whether this string is present in our uh, application and the test. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'll create a quick, quick checkpoint. Uh, I want to verify whether your account has been created. So I'll go to our HTML page and I'll find that string which I want to create a test.
congratulations your new account has been successfully created so i want to add test matching text so i'll right click it and i'll click on this test name verify user registered pass if it is present match it has to be an exact match and yeah so it will create one of these tests what the test will do here is it will assert your text whether that particular element has your text which you have mentioned here so the next time when you execute your test case again this will be matched and once this is matched you your test case will be considered as passed so yes pretty much that completes up our test recording for one of these tests in the next video i'll try to explain how would you do a data parameterization for this test case uh, so till then ciao